In the last video, we created a module file of this terrace house. Uh, now in this video, we're going to import that module so we can create a multiplication of this terrace house as a grouped object, which can also then be updated from an external reference. So to import that, we want to go File, External Content, Place Hot Link. Now we don't have that yet, so we're going to select the module, and it's a new module because we don't haven't placed it in the file yet. From File. Now you might get a bit confused at first if this is listed as Archicad. This is the one that we want. It's called Module One dot Mod. That's the one that we created. Uh, PLN means that this is the standard Archicad file, the plan file. Uh, just for reference, BPN is also the backup file. PLN.LCK is a lock file, so that uh, avoids us from opening a file that's already opened and then corrupting it. So we want to change this to our module file. So we're going to change to this one and select. Now when we're importing a module, we chose to have three stories, so it was a lot more stories than this, but we want to import them all, ground, first, roof, and it's created a reference first because the roof is uh, visible on two stories. So we want to import all stories. This is now selected it, select, I don't want to change the orientation, I don't want to ad change the additional offset. Now what we could do, this site is actually sloping, it's not perfectly flat, uh, so we might have a look at this after. So we may actually want to slightly step the height of our houses along this site so that they do fit to the contour of the land, but for now we're just going to keep that at zero as to not make this confusing. Place hot link. Now we want to make sure that we're aligning these. We created both these stories, sorry, we created the module file from the original file, which means the story settings are the same. You have to make sure that the story settings are the same. If they were different, we could create issues. And we, we can import the first floor in reference to the ground floor. So if we were importing a single story, or if, if it was a very sloping site, and we wanted to import it with a whole story difference, we might do that. We don't in this case. We want to make sure that these stay the same just to keep it nice and simple. This is imported it directly in place. So what I now need to do is to drag this away. So I'm going to move it up the page in this case, up to this line. That line is defining my setout point. So at the moment we've got a solid brick wall and then I need to separate that a little bit more. So I don't want I want to make sure that I have my grouping not suspended. That means I can or enabled. It's the other way around. Grouping enabled, yep. So this is the whole file. We see this is slightly different from normal grouping. Grouping is has um, a round circle. And we see that a hot linked file has a, a square node. Uh, the node is yellow in this case, or goldeny color, which means that's all one group, and it's slightly squared. So it's a little bit different from just a, a normal group. And we want to drag this away an additional 50 millimeters for a standard cavity, because I'm pretty sure this was designed with a 270 wall in mind. Once we've done that, we're going to repeat that process. So let's go from this reference point to this reference point. And one more time. So we've now got Four, four houses in a row. Let's just quickly dimension this whole thing. Now we see the end file has only one wall. That's not a, a double wall. So if we measure from end to end, we're slightly shorter than we, we need to be. So we add, need to add an additional wall to this last file. 
we could do this in a few different ways. We see that this is currently a single wall, so we could just change this into a, a double wall, or we could, in the same way that we've been working, select all of these and drag a copy. So it's created as two walls. Now this is unusual for Archicad. This isn't the way that we would normally work. Rather than dragging, what we really want to do is mirror a copy and drag away 50. So that's one method. We could do that or we could delete that one and we could create it not like this but uh, creating changing this wall type to create it as a composite. For now we'll just leave it like this and we will select that same wall, group it together and we will mirror a copy all the way to the other end. So let's view this all in 3D now. So instead of one terrace house, we now have four. They're not going to be fitting perfectly on the site in terms of elevation, but they're fairly close. We see that there's a slight variation based on the topography line. So this is mostly what we're after. Let's just go turn all of our layers on. There we go. Uh, so there's a gap between the studios, that was the intention, uh, but the terrace houses join, as we can see. And of course, you could say, well, why didn't we just copy and paste? That's, of course, the purpose of this, that the original file is left as it was, and all of our new copies are hot linked. So any changes that are made to the original file, not this one unfortunately, but to our module file will automatically be updated here. So we need to change the original file or the instance file that we created, the separate house. So that's hot links. If we need to manage that we can go external content, hot link module manager and we can see that this can be Updated, update, relinked if it was to change, or we could also choose to change this to a different file name, uh, as in reference to a different module, or break the link. So at any point, if we no longer want it to be an updated file, if we want to lock it into this file, we can break that link. So that is module files. In the next video, I'll show you if we need to make changes to that original file, what do we do and how do we go about that process.